What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here once again, and welcome back to Grid 2. <clears throat> yes. Um, it's been, well, uh, quite a while since I've actually played this game, and I do apologize. But there were other games that I wanted to try my hand at, and a lot of other games that other people wanted me to try my hand at. So, I had to temporarily put Grid 2 on a little bit of a hold, and only by about a week. So, I haven't played this in a little while, but I... I am still continuing it. I just want people to know that. I am still continuing it. I won't bitch out of this. I'm enjoying this game. Now, at last recollection, uh, I have my Golf R here, and I got cut off by a Ford Focus, of all things. So, <laughs> we're going to have to kick some more ass in this Euro Standings League, or whatever it may be called. But, yeah, so... Before we get started, if you guys could just hit me up with a like real quick, and a favorite if you're feeling chippy enough. I'd really appreciate that. So, let's go check out the events of today. I keep... I remember I wasn't sure... Should, should I do some vehicle challenges or promos? I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but... Let's go with the vehicular challenges. To get a Ford Focus ST. I must be on glue. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Alright. Got to be the time of 1 minute 13 seconds to win the vehicle. Ford Focus. God. You know what? I shouldn't really make fun of the Ford Focus. Ford can actually make good vehicles when they really, really want to. When they're selling them in bulk and, you know, to the general public, not so much. There's a few people who uh, made a few comments on Ford. Because, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of various vehicles, depending on what they are, have had little acronyms coined based on the letters in their, in their, in their title. So, for example, Ford, sta you can stand for, uh, what can stand for? Uh, there isn't much room to fucked here, on so regu regular something. I can't remember. Rep requires repair, I don't know. There's a few of them like that. Like a lot of like owners have who've hated them call it that. Alright, focus. Now the goal is to get to the end of the finish line. I don't need to go for thousands of kilometers on one tank of gas. It's all good. Let's see if I can do any good in this game after not playing it in a long time. That's the problem with racing games, you know, or any sort of game that requires dedicate like a skill to keep playing it. As long as I have something to talk about. Remember how I mentioned last time, or a few videos ago, how if I, I get distracted by talking or thinking of something in my head? Like, sometimes I'll zone out. Completely zone right the hell out. And I'll, like, be really good. And I, I don't know, it just becomes second nature. Sorry, just gotta make an adjustment. I apologize. My mic just needs to be moved. There we go. Hopefully that'll do. Maybe a little this way. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it has to be in the perfect spot. Okay, that should do nicely. Sorry about that, fellas and ladies. Just keep zoning out. Just keep zoning out. Oh, shitty turn, but we recover. Oh, we got it. Nice. I got me a Ford Focus. You hear me? If I wanted a Ford Focus, I could go and buy it. Nice work. She's coming home with us. Jesus. Yeah, because that's what we all want in life is a Ford Focus. I'm really hating on the Ford Focus right now, aren't I? <laughs> well, you look at it this way. My car uh, was in the shop because there was a hailstorm last year, pretty big hailstorm. And it was sucked because I got my my new car last year. It was brand new last year. Age a wider audience, so keep an eye on your sponsor objectives. Hold on. Anyway, and so it was covered since it's an act of God under insurance. All you got to do is pay a du deductible of whatever it worked out. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna get it fixed. So I had to get a rental car. And what did they give me? A 2013 Ford Focus. It sucked the major dick. Okay. It wasn't like that, but it was very similar. It was a sedan. It wasn't a hatchback. Oh god, now I gotta get the Hyundai Genesis. Of course. I want my Golf R, I don't want a Hyundai Genesis. Give me a break. Some people have asked me, you know, in the comments, Dan, 
Why do you hate Hyundai? I didn't think anybody did. Hyundais are such trash. I'm sorry. I hate them. There's really nothing else better to put it. Most of them are really ugly. Like, even the Genesis now. Like, at first, you're like, what kind of vehicle is that? It looks okay. But they that's when they changed the logo. They were so embarrassed by their own company that they changed the logo and gave it the Genesis its own logo. It was still Hyundai, but when they first came out, I don't know if you guys remember, but they were those two wings kind of thing. They were like wings. I can't explain it. But then they replaced it with just a regular Hyundai. In Cote de Zero, overtaking is a whole that's just my, game. That's my Lose thing, okay? <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, ugh. Not my idea of a, of a nice car. These things are actually so cheap. You can get a two liter turbo for like 23,000 or something like that. Whatever, you get you get my point. I won't keep shitting on actually I'll probably end up shitting on a lot of cars in this game, depending on what they are. But not really. Most vehicles I really like. You know, they put performance grade vehicles in, in racing games, but I guess like this must do something, but uh I'm sorry. It's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, am I right? Ugh, yeah, see, this is the new Genesis. I think it looks so shitty. Like, the front of it. Look how gross that looks, man. It looks ugly as hell. I'm in the wrong lane! Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. I like this track so far. We're, we're in Barcelona, right? Oh, very bad. As soon as oh, I totaled it. Oh my god, I totaled the car. We'll go right from where we started fucking up. Oh, jeez. We're okay. No. Oh my god, man. This is just... I, I, got, dist I got distracted as soon as I said the course was good. <laughs> I'm going way back to where there was no damage. There we go. Almost tap it again. And I hit it there. It doesn't matter. Go! I can't keep wasting my uh, flashbacks on that. Ugh, what am I doing, man? What happened? What happened, man? Hold on. My back is itchy. That's what happened. I got to scratch it as soon as I get a chance. Start. Okay, hold on. Dude, I was like racing flawlessly until I mentioned that the track was nice and that jinxed it. So I gotta just concentrate. Oh my. Yeah, I got that. As long as you stick with the track, even if you mess up a little bit, you know, you'll be fine. I can never, I mean, you can never have too many cars. Good going. Damn right, none of these are yours, bitch. Know your place. You're just my, you're just my garage junkie or whatever. No. He's not a mechanic. He's my organizer. He's a, he's a, he plays a big role, and I appreciate his work. <coughs> anyway, we have both the cars that we need from this tier. Well, I don't need them, but... You know what I'm saying. Remember, there's a promo event available to try. It's I might as well do the promo. Precision and timing to the limit. You have to earn the fans' respect. They want to see something incredible every time you race. Goddamn fans! Just kidding. I love fans. My fans are awesome. They're the fuel in my so-called YouTube race car. Let's do the promo. What do we got? Amar Endurance Paris Live Roots. Oh, it's a live route race. Okay, what what are you what am I giving? Oh, the fair lady. Me and my fair lady. We haven't driven her in a while. Actually, of course we did. <laughs> oh wait, it's a sponsored car probably, so yeah, it's not mine. Yeah, so I don't think it is. Oh wait, no, I forgot I changed my colors. I changed my colors. I'm like, oh right. I am no longer just sporting the blue. 
I'm wondering if I should completely get rid of the white and keep it the black. I don't know. It looks different on on various cars. Like, it looked really good on that, uh... Oh, which Japanese car did I have out? The Subaru BRZ, I believe? Yeah, I think that's what I had. That It looked good on that guy, for sure. Anyway, let's do the promo. We'll be a, we'll be a hero to these people. And then we'll go back to the regular races. Head east. We're all set up to get started. <coughs> objective, right? Okay, let's go. Alright, my fair lady and I. Yeah, but this isn't mine, see? It's not mine. It's a no custom. Wow, this is confusing. My fair lady's but oh wait, not everyone has a fair lady. We just all have the same paint job. And and uh, livery. Fuck, I forgot how well this thing handled turns. Rafael Giordano, get out of my way, you dipshit. Very tight corners. Oh, very bad. That's a redo. I was all worried about passing a bitch, so I didn't even apply any sort of brakes. A little wide, but it wasn't a bad turn overall. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, I, got, I thought it was going to be a sharp turn, and then I saw it last minute. Sorry. At it, girl. Just keep racing for four minutes. Oh, too much speed going in. Too much. Bonjour, mon ami. Woo! Sacré blues. Uh, C'est une véhicule who's driving very fast. <laughs> Sorry, I know that was very insensitive. I know, I know. Oh shit! That's my, that's karma. You know they could have ran with something here, like a game like Burnout or something could run with a karma. You get it, karma? Ha 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 ha! Wow, that was my, my probably one of the lamest things I've ever said. That's okay. I'm sure you guys loved it. Took what, it, took what I said to heart and applied it to your life lessons. How did I manage that? How did I manage that? Sorry, I'm hurting my... Oh, this is technically isn't my fair lady. My fair lady's at the shop. This is their fair lady. I wouldn't treat my fair lady like this. I'd take my fair lady out to a nice steak dinner. The baked potato and all the fixings and a nice glass of wine and then a nice chocolate molten cake lava duck chocolate cake or something whatever you call it for dessert and then i'd go finish it off with a uh second helping of dessert dan you'd stick your dick in a car no oh and i meant it's just the the, the idea that's how I treat my fair lady. Like, it's a metaphor. Keep keep up. Try and keep up. <laughs> Very disturbing, I know. I heard about this guy who actually, like, fell in love with his car. Like, ask any man out there. Any man who owns an automobile. He'll tell you the same thing. I love my car, okay? It's different with guys and girls. Girls don't really love their vehicles like guys do. Guys hold a special bond with their vehicle. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is, but that's just how it is, okay? And, and I'm sorry, ladies, but you, you just probably won't be able to understand. Not many do. But I heard about this one. This is one show. I think it's called Strange Sex Addictions or something like that, or Strange Addictions, or I can't remember. But this guy, this, this kid, he probably was like maybe 19, 20. He actually fell in love with this car. Like, actually. like, he, And he had a physical relationship with it. I'm serious. And... It, in in the show, he told he, he told his dad, and his dad was like shocked, but he didn't react like I thought he would. He, he was like, "What? How's that even possible?" Like that's how he asked, and that's what he said to him. And I'm like, "What the?" 
Some people are really weird, man. Like, I don't understand. It's like your dick in the tailpipe or something like that, but... Anyway. Just so you know, you guys. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. Oh, just like that. <coughs> More karma. We're talking about sticking... I don't know. Let's not go there. Let's just stop. What? It was a nudge, bro. It's a scratch. It's gonna affect my acceleration and everything, isn't it? Thirty seconds left. Dude, I'm like ahead of the pack. Yeah, you can tell the car definitely isn't in top condition. I don't even know where number two is. I don't even see him. That was so easy. Like, I was ahead of them the whole time. Look, I don't want your ego to expand, but that was incredible. I know. My ego hasn't expanded, bro. Don't worry. Calm down. Did I get fans? Yes, I did. People were watching that event. Of course they were. The WSR is still in its infancy, so we have a lot to prove and a lot of people to reach. Completing a sponsor objective is a good way to get your name out there. Copy. So the promo's done. This isn't done yet. Might as well do some Divisiru. Take me tick. Four of them total. Cool. Just, uh, didn't I like this one? 4.8 kilometers. Might as well take my Golf R. Dum dum. Brum bum. Dum dum. Chick 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 In Code to Zero, overtaking is a whole different ball game. Don't lose your nerve. Okay, uh -huh. you're racing against Divi Zero today. Let's see if they cope with the pack as well as they do with the clock. That's a beamer right there. That one to watch. He's driving a beamer. Come on. Dasato! Dasato! Knows this Coke de Jour track like the back of their hand. You need to be on your game today. Yeah, but do they know it like the back of their dick? That's something so much better. Oh my god, what have you done? To my golf bar. What have you done? Oh my god, what have I done? What am I doing? Hold on, this is very bad. We're gonna restart. Dan, just use a flashback. Again, we're so close to the front. You might as well just restart and save a flashback. Because they, they are they are numbered. You don't have an infinite amount of flashbacks. Oh fuck! This is brutal. Third, we can take second from here. The only problem with this hatchback, it's hard to see the road in front of you. Because it sticks so high. Know what I mean? And yes, I know I can change the view, but I'd rather not. It looks like you've taken some damage on your front right tire. Be prepared if the car hooks in more when you're cornering. Oh, great. What the? What the? What the hell? Dude, I can't... <laughs> I can't drive this car to save my ass. I can't turn to them, I'm really close. Come on, girl. I got you. 
This is the guy in the beamer. What's this guy driving? I can't tell. It's not another Golf R, is it? It doesn't look like it. It looks like a Focus. Is it a Focus? No, that's a... Uh, what is that? Oh, that's an Alfa Romeo. That's what that is. The Alfalfa. Woo! Come on, bitch. That's right. That's how you overtake. Oh, that was okay. Not too bad. German cars will kick your ass. Oh my god, that is how you win! All it took was damaging a $40,000 automobile. Whoops. After tax, that's like 48 grand. And then if you get... I don't think... Yeah, he had a 1 Series M Coupe. That's what he had. M Coupes are pretty small. They're small vehicles. <coughs> oh, what the hell? No, 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 no. There we go. What was I trying to... I don't know what I selected there, but... Every day I'm shuffling, 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 every day I'm shuffling. I don't know. <laughs> the WSR is still in its infancy, so we have a lot to prove and a lot of people to reach. Completing a sponsor objective is a good way to get your name out there. Yeah, I gotta win by a certain amount of time. The Subaru, the Alpha Male. I'm, I'm gonna stick with the Volkswagen Golf R. Volkswagen. Das Auto. Oh. <sighs> I need to get some coffee here right away. Corner speed is the key to winning here. Concentrate on your braking points. That's Lucien Galfione, the star driver for Divi Zero. His times are the ones to beat. All right, well, all right, it is time to right, speed. Get ready. I gotta beat him by like four seconds. Like Stay focused and you'll set a fast time. Oh, I could have taken that turn way, turn way better. Pace is about even with the others. Try and build some more speed. One thing I noticed about the golf R, it's, it's handling is a little clunky. Here he is, Lucien, move your ass. Oh, you fucked me up! Lucien, you fucking prick! I'm close, man. I gotta get this. Five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. Beat it. That's right. Oh my dear sweet Jesus. Ooh, what am I doing? Oh my god, man, I can't. Okay, you're improving on your pace. I am? I tried handbraking. Get off the wall! Oh my god. Dude, I am like eating a big crispy brisket bun or something. 
Huh? Like, look, that was a terrible turn. 